talk about the integration of on-premises Active Directory with Azure. You must have seen a various situations or scenarios where during the migration it is usually comes into the picture when we have the infrastructure on premises if you're creating directly into the cloud maybe you are a new entrepreneur and you're establishing your infrastructure in the crowd in the cloud directly then that is a totally different story okay but for now we are talking about integrating on premises active directory with azure as you can see on the screen hello everyone my name is arun and let's get started so today we are going to talk about the various options that we have and the benefits and the challenges that we face while using these options okay so right now you can see this is our on premises uh, this is our on premises right here we have our active directory here this is our active directory right here these are the on-premises VM running they all are the domain joined with this okay and let me mark this it will give you a little idea these all are the domain joined with this on-premises active directory so these lines are showing that domains join thing now we need to integrate this active directory with the azure ad we all know with azure subscription with azure account we get the azure active directory which is a multi-tenant okay which is a multi-tenant directory and it has the cloud-based identities as i have mentioned here cloud-based identities whatever identity we create in the azure ad now we need to integrate this with this or let's put it this way whatever identities we have in on-premises we want those in Azure okay now it depends what kind of situation you have what kind of applications you have how do you design it so let's go and check the options that we have okay to do so the very first options I have here is integrate AD with Azure AD. That means integrate on-premises Windows Active Directory with Azure AD. Well, that is the option where we do not deploy Active Directory inside the virtual machine, of course, but we use something called ad's connect which has the capability to sync your uh, active directory objects identities to the azure active directory so what would happen whatever identities you have on premises we would have the same identities in the azure ad that's how you can integrate okay azure ad is not an extension of an on-premises directory we all know that but we can keep the same identities in Azure AD whatever we have in the on-premises right cool but changes made to these items on-premises are copied to Azure AD because the sync is deployed it keep on syncing but changes made in Azure AD are not replicated back to the on-premises domain okay and you can also use Azure AD without using an on-premises directory in this case Azure AD act as a primary source of all identities I talked about the entrepreneur or the new infrastructure in the cloud we can only use the Azure AD it totally depends so in this situation uh, we have I hope you understand this integration right so what are the benefits we have for this integration I have wrote down few here well 
Azure AD is is managed by cloud it's a, it's a pass service so you need not to uh, worry about the deploying the virtual machine and taking care of the active directory infrastructure and maintenance it will all be taken care by azure now second benefit is azure ad would have same ID identities as available on the on-premises these are the copies actually okay we have the other options in the Azure AD connect like password hash sync and pass through authentication okay so in with the help of those password hash we would have the same identities or the copied identities and the password in the Azure and users would not have any any uh, would not find any differences it will all be taken care by the azure ad or on the browser side but you need to you need to modify your applications okay so uh, what is the other benefit authentication can happen in azure right that's what i said if authentication is happening in azure that means azure ad is taking care of the authentication means the authentication method has changed from windows ad to cloud ad now in that scenario we need to do some changes in the application so that it could enable the azure ad auth hence there is a challenge if we opt for this kind of op, uh, this kind of solution so these are the challenges I wrote. So we need a connectivity between on-premises and Azure so that it can sync. Okay. And we need to do some modification of the application. And if you wish to authenticate service and computers uh, that can be done with Azure AD for these VMs, okay we need to deploy adds to put it in the domain or you can choose site to site connectivity and uh, with the help of this but it will uh, there would be latency right and that's not good all right so let's go ahead and talk about uh, other options that we have all right uh, second option is adds in azure joined on an on-prem active directory so it is like creating one vm here and making it active directory inside the same forest and azure and there is a site-to-site -site connectivity now all the objects and everything would be synced to this and the vice versa right so this will take care of the azure virtual machines or the applications this will take care of the on-premises and the sync would be established that's how it can be done and these both are in the same forest okay now if we talk about the benefits it provide access to the same identity information that is available on premises because it is actually the windows ad which is on the azure running on the ias or the virtual machine and both are in sync inside the same forest you can authenticate user service and computer accounts on premises and in azure you need not to deploy adds or anything okay and you don't need to manage a separate forest because both are inside the same forest The beauty of Windows 8 is you have the other options like group policies and, and other stuff that you can do with the Windows 8 that can be done now because we have the Windows 8 inside the virtual machine right now. The challenges that have that we'll face is uh, we need to deploy the AD inside the virtual machine, maybe two virtual machines as a primary and secondary. So you gotta maintain those. You need to patch them you need to take care of the monitoring and all those kind of stuff and there may be some sync latency between the domain servers in the cloud and the servers running on premises okay now what we can do in the third option is we can create 
a separate forest in a uh, in in azure vm it says separate forest so we have one forest in on-prem and another forest in azure and there is a trust relationship doublet between these two so that would be a third option okay now typical uses for this kind of architecture where we have two different forests one is on-prem one is in the cloud include maintaining security separation for objects and identities held in the cloud and migrating individual domains from on-premises to the cloud so in in such scenarios we should go for this kind of architecture the benefit is you can implement on-premises identities and separate azure only identities okay you don't need to replicate from on-prem ad forest to azure the challenge is authentication within Azure for on-premises identities require extra network hops to the on-prem AD server. Okay, because if they need to authenticate by this, they need to go through the entire site to site and come here and do it. But in the previous one, they can do from here because that's the same forest. Okay. And the last one is extend ADFS to Azure. Well, uh, this is this is uh, something that used for uh, maybe you know authenticate and authorize users from the partner organization allow users to authenticate from web browsers running outside of the organizational firewall or allow users to connect from authorized external devices such as mobile phone or tablet or things like that but the benefit of this is you can leverage claims aware application provides the ability to trust external partners for authentication this one is the absolutely advanced thing okay <clears throat> and you follow the challenge you, you'll face the challenges like uh, you need to deploy ADDS, ADFS, ADFS web application proxy servers. It is absolutely complex one. But if there is an absolute need of it, then of course you can go for this option as well. So I hope uh, this would be, uh, this video is actually informative for you and you would have, you, you know the various options that you can have for the identities for the integration on active directory with Azure. These are the few options that you can choose as per the design of your architecture or as per the need of your customer. And we'll try to dig it deeper in the upcoming videos. Well, hope this would be informative and thank you for watching. You have a good day. Bye-bye.